Did you know you were lied to your entire life about marketing? Many people think that you just need to go out and buy some ads. However, you'll quickly find that there's a lot more to it than that. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through the full attraction marketing process from beginning to end and give you the top seven ways to consistently bring in a huge amount of new leads. That way, you'll attract more customers, make the phone ring, and grow your business. Let's do this! Hey! Hi, I'm Ryan Yeti and thank you for clicking this video and hanging out with me for a while. Before we get into it, be sure to click the like and subscribe button on the video because it helps us with the YouTube algorithm so we can get this video out to more people who need help improving their marketing game and growing their income. Okay, so you run a business and you need more clients. First things first, you gotta figure out what you're doing right and what you're doing wrong and what you're not doing yet. Uh, what's that phrase we always say? You need to be in the places where people look for what you sell. Right, so say we're selling some insurance. What's the first thing prospects do when they realize, hey, you know, I think I might need some insurance. They go to the internet and search for it, of course. These days for businesses doing it right, the internet is essentially a giant sales funnel that's constantly streaming in new potential customers. And this is what we want for you and your business. Let's first look at your reviews and search engine rankings. For this example, we're gonna pretend we're an insurance company, but this can apply to almost any industry or business. Do this, go over to a search engine and type in the word insurance and then the city you're in right after it. I'm in Canada, so for example, I'm gonna type in Toronto insurance. All right, there's three things to look for on this page. Google ads, Google local listings, and SEO. Google ads are those listings at the top that Google tries to disguise as the actual search results. They're, they're not. Uh, they used to be pretty easy to spot, but now the only way you can tell is that little bold ad right beside each of them. Google ads are CPC or cost per click, meaning that you only pay if someone actually clicks these links. These can be great advertising investments if you set them up right. However, it can be complex, so I'd recommend reaching out to a marketing pro for more help with this. Now, let's look at the listings beside the map. These are called Google Local Listings. When you first set up your business address on Google Maps, you probably remember using a service called Google My Business. Well, that information is displayed here. For this section, you're gonna to wanna to make sure to have quality pictures of your work, a great description, and make sure you fill in everything you can with lots of links going back to your website. This is really good for SEO. You can also promote or optimize your business listings to be one of the top three listings. This is a fantastic way to get new clients. Next, see how each of these listings have little star reviews right underneath each of them? These reviews are some of the most important marketing tools that you have. 93% of customers will make buying decisions based on these reviews. So it's imperative that you put a lot of focus on getting more and more five-star reviews. But how do you do that? Well, obviously provide an amazing service with tremendous value to clients and then you ask them for a five-star review. What, what, what if they were an asshole? That's the problem. Angry clients tend to be eager to leave bad reviews and happy clients tend to forget to leave five-star reviews. So another thing you can do is send clients review gateway emails. What are review gateway emails? Well, after you finish work with a client, you can use this service to send out an email or text message asking them to leave you a five-star review and it has two buttons on it. Either yes, you'll leave a five-star review and this service will immediately take them to Google to leave that five-star review or if they click no, that service will direct them to a feedback page where there's like an apology message and they can write an angry message all that they want on how you can improve. But this is great because they didn't leave a bad review and you can still ask them without risking that. You can set this up automatically to be sent to your customers after using your service and get tons of five-star reviews. And you don't risk accidentally getting bad reviews from you know potentially upset clients. Does that make sense? So we send like happy clients to read us on Google and the assholes to somewhere else? Yeah, pretty much. Nice. Okay, so under these Google local listings is something called search engine optimization or SEO. These are kind of the actual search rankings that you want to actually rank in. You can pay a marketing agency to help you get to the number one spot in these searches. Be careful though, there's a million companies out there that say they can do SEO, but only a few that are actually any good. But if they do it right and you end up ranking in the number one position for your most competitive search term, it can be one of the best ways to consistently obtain new clients. Next, we have to see what's going on with your logo, website, and video. Now you can have the highest ranking website in search engines and the best reviews on the planet, but if people click on your website and find that your website logo and branding is outdated, slow and just like looks bad, you're not going to convert them into actual paying clients. How's your logo? Does it look like your nephew made it in Microsoft Paint? How's your website? Is it looking like it belongs in MySpace in 2004? 
If you answered yes to either of these questions, definitely invest in improving both of these first. They are an important part of your marketing foundation and some of the most important marketing tools that you have as a business today. But remember, just because you have a pretty website and logo doesn't mean that they will consistently get you new clients. The person or agency that makes it should have the knowledge and experience in something called conversion. That is, if 100 people visit your website, how many of them actually turn the clients? For example, the top section is extremely important. Some people actually call it the hero section or the above the fold section. Above the fold actually gets its name from newspapers. Remember those? <laughs> A few of you may remember buying newspapers way back in the day. They used to be kind of stacked and folded with obviously the most important headlines and images appearing above the fold. The same is true with your website. You want to put the most attention grabbing headline and images in the top section of your website. But what if you want to take things even further? Let me ask you this. What do you think is the second biggest search engine in the world? You know the first is probably Google, so you'd probably think the next would be Bing or Yahoo or something. No, believe it or not, it's actually YouTube. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? YouTube is the second biggest search engine in the world, and more than ever, people are watching and listening to information instead of actually reading it. That's why I believe the most important marketing tool available other than your website is a video. Why? If you have a great video that pitches your business in the best and most concise way possible, you can use that video anywhere, on social media, paid ads, and even as a play button on your website to help increase your conversion rate. Okay, so now you have this incredible brand, great website, great video, that converts customers like crazy, and you appear high in search engines with great SEO, and you have a ton of great five-star reviews. Often, this is enough to consistently bring in tons of new customers just on their own. However, if you want even more customers, there are additional things you can do. Now that we have inbound marketing kind of figured out, let's talk about outbound marketing. The social marketing and online advertising landscape has been changing rapidly every single year. To expand your marketing net, there are three effective ways to do it. If you're not lazy, you can start putting out content yourself. Do you have valuable knowledge and skill sets that can help others? If so, that's great. Start consistently making videos on that topic. You can pay a marketing agency to consistently post on social media for you. Depending on your target demographic, you'll likely find that you'll get the most organic reach from TikTok, Instagram Reels, and YouTube. However, Snapchat and even Pinterest videos are performing really well recently, so check those out as well. As a business owner, it's extremely difficult to run your business while growing your audience online. That's why many businesses often choose to hire a marketing agency to help do it for them. That way, if a potential customer is looking at your business online, they'll be able to see that you keep most of your social media up to date with current posts, and these posts will consistently be presenting your business to potential customers throughout the year. You take that video that we talked about earlier and you know, promote it. Believe it or not, paid video ads can still work if you do them right. With video, you can promote it all over online. You can hire a marketing agency to do this for you, or you can do it yourself. We found some of the best return on investments are paid Facebook ads, paid TikTok ads, and paid Pinterest ads of all places. But we're always experimenting and trying new things, so that could often change. So that's it. You appear in the first spot in search engines, you have a ton of five-star reviews, a gorgeous new logo, a new website that converts clients 24-7 for you. You have a quality video that you can use on both your website and social media and paid ads. You have fresh, up-to-date social media channels. You can invest in paid ads whenever you like to kind of smooth out slow periods in your business. For most businesses, this is an excellent marketing game plan that should get you results. However, if you want even more clients, I'd recommend looking and trying to do a annual marketing campaign where you invest your marketing dollars in one big push at the same time every year instead of spreading it out all over the year. More on that later. We'll make another video of that sometime. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching the video. We'll be doing more videos on the marketing investing business, so subscribe if you're interested in that kind of shit. If you have nothing better to do, check us out. Trackmedia.ca to get ahead. Get it? Because I'm ahead. Bye. Thanks for watching, you beautiful humans, and keep attracting success in your own life. It was great talking to you, and we'll talk to you again soon. Peace. Raindrop. Raindrop.